So, I'm going to uh, start taking out the old icebox. Um, I've watched some videos of how people did it online. Uh, so, we'll see how easily it goes or difficult. I'm going to pull it out so I can put my new nav station where this is now. Uh, I'm going to move all the electronics, obviously, over. And uh, I'm going to be running my uh, GPS AIS antenna soon. And uh, so that's going to lead back to where I'm going to mount the digital yacht A uh, I A I S. Um, so I need to go ahead and just get all this out um, and uh, move forward with the uh, forever nav station instead of this temporary setup. Uh, so here we go. Let's see how it goes. this old wood, how it's weathered and worn, so try to salvage as much of it as I can. inside looks like you got the top the shelf part off um, here's the foam not very well insulated by today's standards but in 1965 this was probably the height of luxury so now I'm gonna try to get this face off without destroying the wood it's so beautiful I'd love to reuse it And there's the inside. I got the face off successfully without damaging it. Um, now I'll just slowly take all this stuff apart, th put it in a trash bag, and uh, yeah, it's going pretty easy. Shouldn't say that. But um, that's the height of insulation technology 1965 that you're looking at right there. Nothing better. Look at that. Keeps all the cold in. So I cut all the foam out. <clears throat> you can see the uh, this lip is like fiberglass with uh, screws holding it to the interior structure.
see how this goes. Hmm. All right. So there's that part. And here's with the fiberglass shell out. It's pretty disgusting in there. I don't even know what's happening. The uh, Somebody in the past had glassed over the cockpit access to the uh, icebox. Um, so that gave me a little bit of problems. But um, other than that, it was pretty chill. Pretty disgusting.
I just cut the shelves out, uh, trimmed them back. They were uh, wider than that. I've got most of it hollowed out. Um, now I'm going to cut along, uh, actually along here. Uh, you can't really see. Along here um, to leave this bit attached to where the uh, engine bay mounts, obviously. And then um, I'll seal everything up. It's open to the engine where you imply on this side. So it's going to be cool to have an actual nav station um, and a uh, like a little chart table and everything. I've been dreaming about doing this setup since I got the boat. So I'm pretty stoked to finally be moving forward on this project. Messy. Very messy job though. Just finished the last of the cutting away all the old fiberglass. It was holding the uh, base of the um, ice box in place. So it's uh, ready for me to start rebuilding once I get to it. Um, I need to put in a wall here to seal off the engine bay because that's exposed now. I already have marine lumber, I mean uh, marine plywood, uh, so that'll be easy, I can take care of that tomorrow. Um, and then uh, start figuring out how I want to arrange things. Um, I'll probably put my control panel and stuff in here, that way I can leave uh, plenty of space for a small chart table here, and then my feet will sit in. I can sit like this at my chart table, put a light in this thing, this is like a re really thick fiberglass recess from where there was like uh, ice box access um, from the cockpit. So um, I'm just gonna, I'll probably put a light in there and make it look nicer. But uh, yeah, this is it. Pretty stoked. Um, it was a lot of work. Um, the ice box part came out pretty easy, but little bits that were glassed in were really intense. Um, and now everything in the boat is covered in fiberglass, which is a real bummer. Um, including me. Every part of my body is itchy, even though it was covered. So, good progress on the nav station. Really, really excited. Um, so, now it's time to go home and take an hour-long shower.